Okay, I can finally get back to doing the regular updates on uh, how my stuff is going since I've now got everything connected back together. Now it's still a wreck and I want to say I'll come out here and tidy this stuff up, but I think that all of my followers by now know that I'm not really going to do that. So, this is it. And this is a good day to actually try to demonstrate things. Uh, the second I walked out, it kind of slowed down a little bit, but everything is actually running today. I've got uh, the Healy going, the I-1500 is up there going, and here in probably an hour or so, we're supposed to be having uh, 30 to 35 mile an hour uh, steady winds. We gust up to 50 or 60, so... That'll be fun. We'll see what they can do in, in that. Uh, we have had some pretty heavy gusts already today and everything has seemed to hold up all right. Uh, both my, my Healy, again, the Healy is always on top. The I-1500 is right here on the bottom, or the second one, it's not the bottom. Uh, I reset both of those last week uh, exactly a week ago today, last Friday, and my Healy has been responsible for roughly, you know, 9,800 watts, nearly 10 kilowatt hours. This is, uh, and so far about 4,000 watts, 4 kilowatt hours has been, uh, produced today. And then about 2,000 watts today for the Healy, I mean, for the I-1500. In this current configuration, it does seem like the uh, the the I fifteen hundred is still working about like how I expected it to, how it was working, you know, prior to shutting everything down and resetting all my stuff. But uh, with this setup, the Healy seems to be doing better. It's uh, doing it, before we were expecting a little under half the output from the I fifteen hundred is what the Healy was doing. And now the Healy is doing a little bit better than, than half. So more efficient arrangement somewhere along the lines. Uh, the only thing that's really changed is that it's now running on about twice as many batteries. So I, I, I'm assuming that that's helping it, you know, keep going. Not really sure, but it's doing great. And I, I like that. Uh, this is the washing machine motor. And I reset this one probably about an hour and a half ago, and it's already made 500 watt hours. Our Missouri turbine up here, I really wish I could run it with this stuff, but it's 12 volt turbine, and I, I've already tried to run it on 24 volt, and it does not do very well. Uh, it's, it's been sitting on this 10 kilowatt hours for weeks now. Uh, I know that it's building up more. I expect to see it roll over to 11 kilowatt hours like any day now. But, uh, yeah, it's doing what it's doing. Uh, I, I have had a, I don't know if I'll be able to get them to where they're both really visible. It's like right now the washing machine motor out there is doing about 400 watts. 300 watts now. And of course I go to look at it and it, <laughs> it, falls off real sharp but that washing machine motor has uh, I just wanted to point this out okay so the uh, the Missouri turbine I don't think that this was the cheapest one on their website whenever this turbine was bought today the cheapest one is four or five hundred dollars something along those lines to get all the all the stuff you need and then you'll still have to have a slip ring and a couple other things to actually make it work this stupid washing machine turbine that's the stop sign turbine that I've got out here that's making more power than the Missouri turbine and uh, <laughs> it's lower to the ground and dirtier air and now performing this one. Neither one of them are in like ideal situations, but still that one's, you know, got the worst of it. I paid maybe $50 for the, I can't remember exactly. I've got some of those washing machines for free and the most I've paid for one was 50 bucks. 
Uh, that turbine that I have it bolted to, that is a $100 eBay turbine. The blades in the hub that I, I, I've got set up, you can get that from East of Breeze for right around 120 bucks. Uh, and then the tail is scrap metal. Looking at it, I think the tail needs to be a little smaller. But uh, all, all told, it's way under 300 bucks and doing about twice, two to three times the power as the Missouri turbine. I think I did that math wrong in my head. 100 bucks for the turbine, which I did get that back, but all the same. 50 bucks for the washing machine, so 150 bucks. 150 bucks for the blades, so $300 and then some scrap metal. Yeah, under $300. And it's it's doing better than that uh, the the Missouri turbine. Man, I hate these gauges. <laughs> and if I I wanted to, I can easily reconfigure that one to where it'll work on a 48 volt circuit or 12 volt circuit. Can't do that with the Missouri turbine. Anyway, that's our update. I'm going to uh, I'm actually gonna, I'm going to post another one tomorrow just so we can see how much uh, power these things actually kick out over the rest of the day. And, uh, but then we're going to be back on our weekly updates. See how this whole system stays together. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you'll have a very, very wonderful day. Be safe, take it easy, and stay tuned.